Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the announcements regarding Dissidia and Dissidia Final Fantasy NT coming out for the PlayStation 4 next year. In this one, we're going to be covering their latest addition to the roster, a new stage, comments regarding the next characters coming, and a live stream that's going to be coming later this month in November. Let's get started. So as has been predicted for many, many months now, Golbez is the character that was added to the arcade version of Dissidia this month, November 2017. That's no surprise again for multiple reasons reasons. For one, we knew Golbez was one of the two remaining villains from the old cast that had not made it through. That's excluding the additions like Gilgamesh and other characters that were added over to Odisa. On top of that, we did hear that Golbez was going to be added when the next stage was added. And of course, we did get a new stage in the November update as well that is going to be present in City of Final Fantasy NT. As for Golbez's particular role, he is a marksman who is going to be responsible for pelting spells at the enemy while having your vanguards and your assassins take care of things on the front lines. For that reason, he moves relatively slow, but he has a pretty decent variety of attacks. Using his shadow dragon and his own magic, he's able to either launch large, slow-moving, yet high projectile priority abilities, or he has several abilities that are actually smaller and faster traveling, but they won't go through some of the enemy's larger projectiles or super armor, so it's important to know which one you're using in which scenarios. Do you need to juggle somebody to set someone up for someone else, or do you just need to get through to the enemy in the first place? Or do you just want a multitude of projectiles traveling at different speeds to throw your enemy off and try to open up an opportunity for an HP attack? It also looks like one of Golbez's unique skills will actually enhance some of his different projectiles. You can see him use it in the trailer where he powers himself up, and you can see the animations changing on some of his projectiles, giving him a little bit more freedom to cast and a little bit more projectile speed to work with. That being said, he is going to come with many of the weaknesses popular to the marksman, so if you're somebody who can't protect yourself or has a team that is unable to protect you, then it's going to be a rough life for you. So with Golbez added to the cast, we now have pretty much all of what we expect of the original cast returning. Now keep in mind I'm talking about the original cast back in the original Dissidia. While we have had some additional characters like Kane and Ramza, we know that the goal of 2017 was to get all the villains into the game prior to the game's launch on the PlayStation 4 with Dissidia NT. For that reason, I'd like to remind people, Gabroth is confirmed to not be returning in 2017 at the very least, though there is always the distinct possibility that he will return in 2018. Whether or not he's there for NT's official launch, eh, I couldn't tell you. Now, like I said, Golbez was added along with another stage into the Dissidia lineup, and that is the Stellar Fulcrum. Now, that is the battlefield from the Rise of Xylart mission in Final Fantasy XI, where you face off against Cam Lanot. Some people have begun suspecting that because this arena is very exclusive to Cam Lanot, that at some point he may make an appearance in Dissidia as well. It's a tough sell, but Final Fantasy XI is technically lacking a, quote, villain, where Shantoto is more of a chaotic neutral, but in Dissidia NT seems to have taken on the dedicated role of the hero slot. Now, Golbez and the Stellar Fulcrum were the only things to be added in November to the arcade version that we can look forward to on the PS4. That being said, they did announce that some things were coming up, though they didn't give too many specifics. The first one is that new characters from Final Fantasy XII and Final Fantasy XIII are on the way. Now, when they say new characters and Final Fantasy XII, I have to begin to think they aren't talking about Gabranth. I'd like to remind everyone that Final Fantasies 11 through 15 don't really have villains representing them in the series currently. Gabroth fit as a sort of villain, but he was more of a chaotic neutral that leaned towards the chaos side of things. It was really hard to tell where he stood, especially when you think of his role in Final Fantasy 12 as itself. So with Vaughn being a dedicated hero and Shantoto being moved into the hero role of Final Fantasy XI for the series, you have to wonder if it's going to be something more along the lines of Vayne Solidor or perhaps the Cid from Final Fantasy XII. Those are where my guesses go as opposed to the return of Gabranth, though I loved Gabranth and I am personally rooting for his return. Now, as for the Final Fantasy XIII slot, there I feel there's a little bit more of something we can guess. Because Final Fantasy XIII, like XII, is also missing a villain. Now, while Snow or Hope or any of the original cast could technically be added, even Noel from XIII 2 is technically a decent choice to add to XIII, it needs a villain, and what better villain from Final Fantasy XIII are you going to get than Caius Ballad? Yes, you could go for Sid Reigns, but come on, you gotta give Caius his due diligence and throw him into the arena in Dissidia NT. So that's what my fingers crossed are for Final Fantasy XIII. Now, while we know those characters are coming eventually, we don't know what the very next character is going to be if it's not Gabroth. However, we do have this hint that the next character 
will be one that was the most requested to be added to the Dissidia Arcade and by extension NT. I haven't been keeping up with votes of any kind, but I can't even begin to think who that could be. A lot of the original cast kind of gets thrown into that. Yuna, Gilgamesh are definitely two that come to mind as ones that people have been saying, come on, you need to add these characters. Caius has been a long time requested character, and I have to imagine that it's not going to be someone from the returning cast of Duodecim. There is also the possibility that it's not a character we're expecting at all, or at least it's not a character that's coming from one of the main series. It could be a character that's coming from one of the off series. But with Ramza coming from Tactics, and with Ace coming from Type-0, I can't really figure out who it could possibly be. I don't think Arden has been heavily requested enough, though I personally am also rooting for him to represent the villain side of 15, at least in the DLC to come later. But let me know who your most requested one to be added would be, or if you've been keeping track of maybe the Japanese forums regarding the city, and you can maybe bring forth what that vote has actually led to. And November's not even done. Technically, they always have those live streams at the beginning of the month, so normally we'd be waiting until December to find out what the next little bit of information is going to be. However, for the game's two-year anniversary in the arcade, the next livestream is going to be on November 26th. This is going to include big announcements for both the arcade and for the PS4 version of NT. So I'll be sure to bring you all the information we get out of that live stream when it happens. But with that out of the way, hopefully you've enjoyed watching Golbez on loop while we talk about all this stuff. On that note though, I'm going to wrap this video up and get working on some other stuff. Be on the lookout for more Dissidia stuff as it comes closer to releasing on the channel. I'll be sure to keep you up to date on anything and everything I can find. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.